How we doing, guys? Uh, very excited to be here, obviously. Um, you know, great opportunity, great organization. Um, just ready to get to work, man. Talking to talking to Kevin um, and, and Josh McCown. Um, just being able to meet with those guys. And, um, you know, I'm very excited about this opportunity. Obviously, we've got great players like Aaron Jones right here. Um, <laughs> and obviously, our defense is going to be ready to go as well. So very excited about this opportunity. Yeah, um, like I said, you know, we got playmakers all over, all over the place, um, obviously JJ being one of them, um, and uh, yeah, and this offense as well, just watching it from afar, um, and you know, I got to mention too, uh, the fan base, um, very excited to be able to come in here with that fan base, and um, being on the Niners last year, coming in here uh, Monday Night Football, just seeing how that uh, how electric that stadium was um, was pretty exciting, and um, you know that's just another reason why I'm um, you know very pumped to be here. Sam, uh, Kevin mentioned he's known you since high school. What's the backstory there? And then also, how yeah, are you this? You're coming here on a one-year deal. Yeah, um, yeah, I've known uh, I've known Kevin since high school. Uh, he at the uh, Elite Eleven um, little high school camp um, that was a part of the opening over there at the Nike campus. Um, he was actually one of the coaches for one of the seven on seven <laughs> teams. So um, got to know him a little bit. W wasn't on his team or anything, so didn't know him too well, but um, introduced myself. That was about the extent of that relationship at that at that point. But uh, yeah, you know, um, coming come here on a one-year deal, um, like I said, I'm just excited to be able to compete. Um, and, uh, you know, just just coming here with, with an open mind, um, and learn as much football as I can and, and um, you know, put the team first, put this team in a great position to be able to go out there and win games. Yeah, um, I should say, too, that I forgot my shades today. Um, <laughs> I got you. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Not does. Um, but uh, so, yeah, AJ's got me beat on the swag today. So, um, but yeah, Josh, man, Josh is amazing. Um, I've known him since 2018, coming in my rookie year with the Jets. Um, and, yeah, it's going to be fun to be able to work with him and, and kind of talk about, you know, um, even today, just talking about, you know, what we want to do fundamentally um, in, in this offense and kind of build off of what I've been doing, you know, the last couple of years with my feet um, and just continue to work all the things that um, make me um, a better quarterback um, and just – really get after it and work that way. Hey Sam, how, how much did, in your mind did you progress last year? You obviously didn't start, but getting a chance to be in Kyle's offense and be around a team as good as Sam's first game. Yeah, it was, uh, it was amazing um, to be able to be a part of that organization um, and, and be a part of that quarterback room. Um, you know, obviously you got Kyle, um, the entire coaching staff, and then, you know, Brian Greasy, the Kubiaks, um, Brock Purdy, Brian Allen, um, Brandon Allen, um, just being able to um, learn from those guys day in and day out. Um, you know, that system is, is pretty similar to this one. Um, so it, it's going to be fun to be able to kind of, you know, just continue to talk ball, you know, with all the coaches and, and continue to build on what I, what I was building on last year, like I said, with my fundamentals and, and uh, with where I'm at mentally with football. Um, yeah, I feel like, like I said, man, this is like, this is a great opportunity, right? Um, a lot of weapons, great coaching staff, really good defense. Um, but I think, you know, there's, there's a lot of work that needs to be put in, um, you know, uh, before, um, you know, we, we say anything about, you know, um, winning a lot of games or making it, you know, to the playoffs and winning a championship. You know, there's a lot of work that needs to be put in before that, um, in OTAs. Um, and obviously in training camp and, and even, you know, the start of the season, you know, there's, there's a lot of work. So, um, you know, I know that and, and I'm very willing to, to be able to put that work in. And I know, you know, just hearing um, everyone talk around this building, everyone is, is bought in and, and willing to work that hard for it.
how you thought about that, if at all, um, did you talk to them about that? Is that part of your decision making process? Uh, is that a possibility? I think no matter no matter what happens, um, I'm gonna compete. Um, and and like I said, just uh, you know, um, excited for the opportunity. Um, you know, like I said, uh, great people um, around this organization. You know, players, coaching staff, um, front office. Um, so, just excited for the opportunity to be able to compete and um, every single day. Sam, what's the biggest thing you've learned about yourself at the highs and lows in your career? So um, yeah, I think the biggest thing is um, just being consistent. No matter what happens, um, you know, not to get not to get too high um, when things are going good, and then when things are going bad, not to get too low, um, because you know, kind of like Aaron said in the beginning, um, this business gets pretty crazy and, and hectic fast, and if you're not consistent with your attitude day in and day out, um, you can get chewed up and spit out quick, and uh, so that's the biggest thing that I've learned is just to stay consistent every single day, and um, that's really all I'm looking to bring here. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's just kind of the West Coast system, right? So I was, you know, my last year in Carolina, I was with McAdoo, um, who had some West Coast stuff and was able to kind of tie um, my feet to my eyes and the progressions and all that. And I feel like that really um, kind of, you know, allowed me to kind of see, okay, like whether I think he's going to get open or not, it's not open in the timing of the play, so I'm just going to move on. Um, and sometimes that's the best play. And so I think just continuing to learn in that system for the last um, two years, um, obviously last year with San Francisco, um, and then just continuing to, to develop that um, this next year in Minnesota, I think is going to be really, really great. Energy is contagious. I carry energy, so I can give energy as well. So energy is contagious. Uh, I still got that same energy that I had then. Uh, nothing changes. I'm here to give these guys the energy, and they're going to give me the energy back and and like I said, energy is contagious. We're going to love on each other. We're going to work hard together, and we're going to come together as a team and ultimately try to bring a championship back here is what we're, what we're working towards. Aaron, how would you say, uh, well, you guys got a late lease with just a short time of roster, but uh, right now, competitively speaking, where are the Vikings competitively at the top of the uh, Honestly, I don't even know who's on their roster after I got released. Uh, I've, just turn straight to the to the Vikings, um, and this is my focus. I'm not worried about the Packers. Um, I'm a Minnesota Viking, and I feel like we have a really good roster. We have the pieces that we need here, and it's about coming together um, and you know finding that unity as a team. Because when things get hard or you find a rough patch, is that's what you're gonna fall back on is that unity that you guys have as as a, in a brotherhood. Thanks, guys. Score! <laughs>